Hello and welcome to my office. I have changed this room more times than I can count or remember because in fact this has also been my childhood bedroom. It has been where I started my YouTube channel and filmed my very first videos. So this space has been my office for the past two years. I have changed it and leveled it up <laughs> over this time. Actually earlier this year I attempted to make this video but I didn't finish the video project and now my office is evolving yet again. More specifically I'm transitioning to a standing desk with the awkward step in between of having my desk in a shelf which you'll see in a minute in the before. So come along on this journey of upgrading my office once more to make it work better for me and my back. <laughs> We'll also tackle some organization and just refresh the space. So I hope you're in for it and let's go. I am going to take you through the before of my desk setup right now in that corner and why as soon as I moved everything over there, I knew that it could not stay that way. I think it's been over there for probably three months. So here are the things that I want to improve. First of all, can you see that it's crooked? It's not the most stable situation right now. It's definitely wonky. I decided to use this hay shelf from my sister as my desk because I could not stand. I could not sit. I could not stand sitting down for my entire work day anymore and even thinking about that reminds me of my back pain for the past probably five months this has worked relatively well now we do have these adjustable shelves which were actually pretty good for adjusting the height but it's still not optimal the depth to me is too little i'm pretty close to my screen uh, or at least I just feel really constricted with this setup right now. And then we also have the aspect of aesthetics. I don't know how to make this look good. It's a little cluttery. It's fine, you know, I'm just striving for a little more simplicity, clear lines, and that's what I can say for the shelf. Then we have this corner. We have... <laughs> A mic stand which I should actually put away and then we have this mannequin dress form thing I don't know where to put it I'm not using it a lot so I might have to move it out of my office for a time when I'm sewing more and then we have this corner of my Muji drawers stacked on a couple of boxes this is not the optimal store situation I just don't really know where to put my fabric right now. This office does act as a space for sewing and for working, but sewing is definitely more of a hobby for me, so it is not the priority. Nonetheless, I've tried to make space for it, so we'll see how that turns out in terms of organization. So my main priority here is to get a better desk and to organize my things in a less cluttered way. I want to do two things. First, I'm going to move everything out. We're gonna say goodbye to the setup. And then I'm going to organize the little things, my office supplies, cables, some books, and then we can set up our new desk. Let's go. I'm hyped because I love that refreshing feeling of getting your things in order and upgrading my space, refreshing my space. It just feels so great, especially right now. It's the beginning of November. I feel like it's a great start to the month. Bro, this is too full. <laughs> no, but can you see how crooked this is? Bro. struggling didn't think this was gonna be another workout 
I think I need to lay down this shelf because its integrity is non-existent. So I need to lay it down to dismantle it. I think that's safer. <laughs> I got the shelf sorted. Now I've got this beautiful empty space and I'm actually cooking at the same time, but I am going to vacuum this floor. <laughs> Why are you so curious? I'm back from my lunch break and now I can finally show you the basis of my desk, which is surprisingly a desk. <laughs> so I got this desk secondhand and here is that adventure. I am hardcore multitasking right now. I'm review watching my video. I'm writing an Instagram caption and I'm bidding on a table. I'm still multitasking. I just have my bids here on the screen. Someone is bidding with me. Let me see. Is it the same person? It's one other person. Yep. <laughs> my friends we have won the bid and so continues the adventure of getting a table good morning friends so i think a couple of days ago we got this table i bid for it and today i'm going on a road trip to pick it up and i'm not going to film the road trip because i'm just driving <laughs> i'm just driving <laughs> and I need to manage my anxiety for that. Anyways, so I will hopefully be back here with a table by the end of the day. So I came back with this desk yesterday and didn't really do much else because that was a tiring day. Um, luckily, there's not much to be assembled because the legs are already together. Now I just need to add on the top. So let's do that. under the table but so far my table is a little wonky I'd feel better if it were stable after taking apart that shelf this is such a piece of cake oh my god is it working it's working the table's working y'all So now that we've got the table, I fixed the wonkiness and I adjusted it to probably the right height. I'm so excited to be able to get this right now because with the shelf, obviously we had predetermined holes of the shelf so I could adjust it to a certain degree, but I wasn't sure whether that was amazing. Uh, now let's talk about my chair, which I also picked up <laughs> from someone secondhand. And that was an adventure that I am um, with bourbon right here in this corner. Um, that was an adventure that I filmed in a summer vlog, actually. So now I've got my chair. Here it is.
For the rest of my office, I decided to move this massive bench to the back of my office and I really appreciate how this minimizes the impact of this big piece of furniture on the room while still offering some great opportunity for storage. Now for organization itself, I use these Muchi drawers. These fit perfectly onto the bench between my desk, so I stack them on here. I love how the storage is accessible and simple, but still hidden away and doesn't look too cluttery. And on there, I also added my basket with books. Of course, my sewing machines have found their spots on the bench. And lastly, I'm just adding more organizational items for Muji for my little sewing supplies and to organize some more things onto this bench. I'm pretty happy with the organization of my office. I think this bench furniture <laughs> item uh, works pretty well here. It's just the perfect size to fit the width of my room, which is kind of insane, but we've got my drawers over there. My sewing machines are easily accessible. I generally try not to keep things on the floor, such as this basket, but for now, it's gonna have to do. With the office organization basically completed or optimized, now we can move on to the finishing touches of my desk and then I'll give you an entire tour. Let's go. Yay, we are finally putting together my desk. So first I am adding my desktop computer and honestly, I didn't know how much of a difference it makes to use a desk mat or at least a mouse pad. It also protects the desk, which is a bonus, besides making my work experience so much smoother and enjoyable. One day I'm thinking of upgrading my keyboard, but for now I'm using this one from Apple with the Magic Mouse. I'm storing my hard drives that are actively in use right now. I know it's crazy, it's like four uh, in this little basket. I love salt lamps, so I have this one, which adds so much warmth and coziness to my desk, especially with the days being so short. I keep it on for most of the day. <laughs> My general philosophy for order is to give everything a home. So I'm adding another one of these acrylic dividers from Muji to store and display the books I'm currently reading and I love how it looks. Look what I've been working on. It's my website, which I'm creating to launch a project next month. And here's why I'm doing so on Squarespace. You can start building a community with their powerful blogging tools that include an integrated commenting system and allow you to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. One option you have is to create a member area where your followers and customers can get access to catered content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. And of course, you can display your posts from social media profiles like I do with my videos and automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. If this is what you've been looking for, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Yusuf to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain while supporting this channel. Thank you to Squarespace and let's look at the rest of this office.
y'all i've just been so excited to have this new setup i feel physically amazing amazing uh, i feel like the chair gives me so much flexibility allows me also to rest and change between standing sitting <laughs> squatting on the chair leaning on the chair being able to dance while working and the table of course being able to be the perfect height and adjustable and if I'm tired of the whole standing thing it's a great sitting desk aesthetically look at this now if you compare this to the before so much cleaner so much lighter and I didn't really talk about the curtains but this was a part of one of my earlier uh, makeovers this year where I replaced uh, these gray curtains I had with these sheer ones from the thrift store. Even though this was not the original intention, I was planning to use it actually as a filming set wall, which it still kind of is, but even just having the curtain behind my desk makes it feel so much more cozy and somehow elevates the space. So I'm so happy about this rail, which is also from Ikea, by the way. One of my favorite details about this setup is actually the cable organization. And I think the previous owners of the desk in installed this cable rack and it is amazing you need to upgrade your cable organization how's it called i don't know how what it's called but you can't even see them from this angle it's so clean and uh didn't expect that but i love it so here we are at my new desk i am incredibly grateful to have found this chair and this desk pre-loved uh, it feels so great to give things a new home and not have to buy something new if you find what you need uh, from someone who doesn't want it anymore and already working on this desk feels as i said so much better physically already uh, i i've been really enjoying my experience with having a standing desk and <laughs> glad i followed my intuition even though it sort of uh, ended up in this weird uh, shelf desk situation we have upgraded we have arrived and i'm happy to move forward with the setup that was basically my desk makeover upgrade office organization optimization let me know what you thought of my little office upgrade desk upgrade upgrade for sure and hopefully i'll see you around and remember if you are planning to launch a website make sure to go to squarespace.com slash yusuf once you are ready to launch to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a domain or a website and yeah i'll see you around until then bye